Golf's given me an, an absolute purpose to help other people, show them what they can do, as well as it's motivated me every day to get up and get on with life and just live. Good, nice full range of movement right across. I think golf swing. <clears throat> He's probably one of the most um, committed, motivated of all my clients and one of, one of the most positive. Another good one, Dave. Dave lives for long drive. Uh, he's, he's a motivated person who always loved golf. It's just something that he keeps working towards. I enjoy everything I do. I love life and I love what I do. But nothing gives me more joy than what I'm doing right now. I wanted everyone to know that, that you know, we had an Aussie world champion. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, again, it was hot. It came off the face. You could hear when you when you're doing a good uh, swing, you can tell if it's a good swing or if it's a bad swing by the the ting of the ball. If you get that really nice ting, you know you've got it. And that day, that that ball that I hit the longest, I knew I'd I'd smoked it. You know, he's achieved his dream of being able to go over and and wheel out onto the Mesquite World Long Drive grid and walk away with a, a world championship title is something that very few Australians have ever done. Well, I was born uh, with uh, spina bifida and paraplegia. Spina bifida is I've got a shortened spine to everybody else and um, I've got a hole that you can actually stick your knuckles in the back of in my back. Paraplegia is it just on spot. Um, it's all uh, nerve damage and from birth and it just means that my legs don't work, they're all paralysed, and that's how come I'm in a wheelchair. Well, sport has given me a motivation. First of all, I started um, in weightlifting back 18 years ago now, and I did that for about five or six years and made it right through to second place in Australian titles. I went into kayaking, I did a marathon kayak from South Bank and Brisbane to come in here to the Gold Coast. Around about that same time, I was starting to play with the golf. And a friend of mine said, <laughs> don't like the idea of you being out there with the sharks. Why don't we have a go with golf? And I did, and um, six months after I started, I won my first Queensland State Championship. And that just went on from there, it just kept on going from there. Queensland State Championship became an Australian Championship. And on and on until last year when I went over to America and made it to, to the world. You can't let that things like just being in a wheelchair impact on your life. If you, you did, you're not going to have a very good life. You're going to have a very down time. So you've got to be upbeat and give life a go. Come in, Dave. <laughs> oh, so I'm waiting for Dave. Hi, mate. How are you? Hey, morning. Morning. How are you? How are you going? Good. good. Are you going to do some bubble ropes? I hope. You hope? You hate? You hate them? No, I love them, actually. Oh, good. I'm glad, because you're doing lots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> always ready to try anything new and, you know, really give it a go. He doesn't want to stop. He always wants to do extra. He probably train every day if he got the chance. We need to up it, then. When we go back on the other machine, we can up the weight. Take it up to five mm -hmm. two more. All right, let it go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Really enthused to keep going and do a lot more. Um, this workout just gives me the, the drive because of strengthening my back, which we've never had, never done before, as well as um, just overall fitness. I, I can do a lot more. I go home and I'm, I'm buggered, but I just, it takes me about an hour and I'm back to normal. I'm, I'm ready to go again, you know, so it's, it keeps me active and it keeps me right where I want to be. He's fitter, he's stronger, he's told me he's lost a couple of kilos, so it's working. And I'm noticing that I'm picking up a lot more club head speed and I'm, I'm trying to adjust that now so, so I can combat, so we can get the ball longer. I reckon we've picked up a good five or ten metres so far.
a little bit over the top there, Dave. Yeah, but it's still a good one. Well, when I first started hitting the ball, I've got to admit it would have been about 300 balls before I actually hit a good one properly. Yeah, swinging a club one-handed is, is difficult. Uh, I guarantee you very few people will be able to do it uh, very successfully. Ooh! That's close to him. You know, I've, I've watched Dave continually break his oh, own record. Um, he's now up to uh, over 190 metres. I think it's 191 to be exact, uh, which is a, a massive feat, you know, with, with one hand. One more. Let's do it again. Let's have some fun. I was lucky enough to be at Canberra when he set a new Guinness World Record uh, with, with one hand in a wheelchair. And it's just nice to sort of see someone constantly working towards something and, and achieving. Um, seeing him break down those barriers that often people sort of seem uh, as too hard to do and and uh, yeah you know the smile on his face when he constantly keeps breaking those records I and mean, when he's working really really hard and yeah it's it's uh, it's fantastic to be a part of <laughs> smoker that's a smoker I'm starting to come back I'm starting to come back over in Mesquite I had three there was me and two others you get uh, two minutes 45 seconds to hit six balls that's why we all need a loader. Of course, being in a wheelchair, if you are trying to load the ball yourself, you'll only get two balls out. <laughs> I've just been playing with the, with the crowd behind me. Yeah. They were being very quiet. And in long drive, we're not used to crowds being quiet. So I decided to play around with the audience and just let one. And then after that, came back and concentrated again and let one go. And that was the ball. He probably didn't tell anyone. I reckon he would have had a tear in his eye when he came off the tee as a world champion. Um, he might not have, but uh, yeah, he, uh, he he would have been ecstatic for sure. And walk away with a, a world championship title is something that very few Australians have ever done. And uh, he's a world champion and deservedly so. I want to go back over and I want to win the I want to win the wheelchair, but I want to win the power long drive division. Uh, I need to. I want to win that. That's my main goal, and that's what I'm focusing heavy on now. <laughs> I need to prove to myself that um, <laughs> the first time wasn't a fluke. <laughs> Even though everybody will say, Dave, you did well, it's not a fluke. But in my head, I've got to be able to say, right, if I go back and I win, even if I came second or third, OK, I've succeeded. I've done what I wanted to do. But no. I want that I want that world title again. I wanna go home, have it up on the wall, two world titles, I'd be happy. But then knowing me, I'll get greedy and I want a third. <laughs>